Oh, hey there. In a world full of critics, how about being radical and giving somebody the benefit of the doubt, okay? And yeah, I'm talking about Christians too. Now, let me tell you a quick story from the Bible. John comes to Jesus, the disciple, John, comes to Jesus and he says, Lord, we found somebody casting out demons in your name and we told him to stop because he was not one of us. And Jesus said to him, don't tell him to stop because whoever is, for, whoever is not against us is for us. And he said, it is impossible for somebody to do a miracle in my name and in the next breath to curse my name. Why in the world are you fighting this guy that's trying, right? And that's the way that I look at it. There, there's a lot of people who go, well, their doctrine is bad. I'm not going to listen to them. I'm going to boycott them and tell everybody what a bad person they are. I'm like, okay, you can. This person was lost in darkness. This person was an addict. This person was a hedonist. This person was doing horrible things. And they have, light has broken through. And Jesus has come to them in whatever way he has. And maybe they don't have full understanding yet. Maybe they're still, you know, their brain is programmed wrong. And they're still getting fixed and sorted out. But they're trying. And, and I was talking to another friend of mine recently. And I was like, you know, new Christians are the most zealous. They like they go and they find other people that are like them, and they're like, man, God saved me. And it, they are just on fire for, for God, for Jesus. Oftentimes, their doctrine is not exactly right. And I'm like, John, you just sit there, and you shut your mouth, and you smile, and you hug them, and you love them. And if they ask you, then say, well, you know, I mean, some of your stuff is a little wrong, but let's, let's work with what you got, and we'll get you a step closer, okay? rather than your stuff is wrong, you're of the devil, get out of here. I want nothing to do with you. I see that attitude far too much. People just throw everything out. They're like, well, if this isn't perfect, then I don't want any of it. And it's what perfectionists do, okay? Perfectionists, they don't do anything. They have paralysis by overanalysis because they're so worried about like, it has to be exactly right that they don't do anything. They're just frozen. I'm like, look, if somebody makes some mistakes, let them make some mistakes. Let them get out there and try. Let them get out there and learn. Imagine if you told a kid, like, you can't walk until you can walk perfectly. Don't even try. I don't want you to stumble. I don't want you to hold onto the couch and wobble. I don't want you to hold my fingers while you walk towards me. None of that. I, you better just be crawling, and one day you better walk perfectly. That is ridiculous. And yet that's what we expect people to do whenever they come to God. And I'm like, how about we give a little bit of grace? How about we maybe look at it from their point of view. How about we hear their story before we criticize? How about we overlook an offense? How about we give them the benefit of the doubt and go, you know what? Who am I to judge another man's servant? Love you guys.